Twitter has long been the town hall of the internet where people from all walks of life congregate and moan. They debate, they ponder their troubles, and they ponder their triumphs of life. It's honestly a pretty cool platform. I've been using it since 2011. I like it. I don't mind it. It's not bad. Sometimes it's bad. A lot, most of the time, it f***ing sucks. It's bad. Never mind. And since the inception of Twitter, we've seen the platform ebb and flow in terms of users, in terms of moderation, in terms of the content that's posted there, things change. Elon Musk bought Twitter back in 2022. The changes were not immediate, but they've piled up now and things absolutely have changed a lot. Welcome to a revolution in dining with Cook Unity, today's sponsor of this video. Where the art of fine cuisine meet the comfort of your home. Imagine having an extremely creative personal chef that crafts meals, culinary delights from across the US. Well, with Cook Unity, <laughs> It's a reality, idiot. Every Cook Unity dish is a signature creation by award-winning chefs. They are absolutely incredible. Here is tonight's choice for me. I've actually been eating these for like the last three days, and I love this. This is perfect. The magic part of all of this is that these meals aren't just delivered. They're designed for your lifestyle specifically, and you can choose from an ever-changing menu tailored to your exact tastes and needs. With Cook Unity, it's more than just eating. It's experiencing. From bibimbap to bonnets, your palate will travel a culinary world. The convenience of Cook Unity is absolutely unmatched. You heat it, plate it, and enjoy your culinary masterpiece in just minutes. It's healthy, it's balanced, it's delicious. The ingredients are simple. I don't actually have a micro so I assume by now watching this ad you are ready for your own chef crafted journey click the link in the description or go to cookunity.com forward slash oompa 50 and use my code oompa 50 to get 50% off your first order that's a lot of free food you have no excuse to not do that click the link down below or go to cookunity.com forward slash oompa 50 thank you to cook unity for sponsoring this video actually a very great sponsor that I use the quality of Twitter or X or whatever the f it's called, it's going down a little bit. The quality of posts have gone down a little bit. By a little bit, I mean drastically, and I fear for my, my eyes and sanity whenever I'm scrolling. Some people say that these changes would be for the better, and some would say that they'd be for the worst. When Elon first bought Twitter, we saw a lot of Hollywood folk uh, threatening to leave. Just like when Donald Trump won the election, a bunch of people said that they were going to move to Canada. It never happens. It's just balking. I think Stephen, Stephen King said he was going to move to Canada and leave Twitter when Elon bought Twitter or some shit. I don't, I don't know why he said that. I think he just wants to move to Canada. And that's fine. People can leave whatever they can moan all they want. I don't really care. I have no dogs in the fight. One thing that is absolutely clear from Elon buying Twitter is that we saw far less censorship of what people post. And that has split people. That's been the real driving change. And this is from a few reasons, potentially him gutting the staff at Twitter, or maybe it's just his vision to have a largely unmoderated town hall, which I see the appeal to that. It does make sense to just have this thing that's out there for people who are 18 years old uh, and up which it's not, it's for 13 years old and up, but it should be for 18 year old people and up for sure. If you're under the age of 18, for the love of God, do not go on Twitter, it's terrible. It should be an adult app, like let's be real. Everything's changed though. And I don't know if you guys like it, I'm kind of in the middle. Some days I scroll and I'm like, oh my God, my day is worse now because of some up shit that I just saw. Sometimes I scroll it and I'm like, all right, this is pretty funny. It's some funny stuff, a little bit of shit posting, etc. Sometimes I pull hairs out of my nose and moan. All that being said, how about Mr. Beast ruin Twitter? How about that? How about that bold claim, that bold take, that W, common Oompaville W? How about that, motherfuckers? I think Mr. Beast is like 60% responsible for the way that Twitter is right now. And we'll get into it. We'll get into it. So when Elon Musk first bought Twitter online, he claimed it was in an effort to save free speech online. He maybe had some Scrooge McDuck type shit in his eyes too because it was $44 billion and before him lay one of the largest social media platforms with millions of daily users and almost no uh, effective implementation uh, of monetization on the platform, aside from Twitter Blue, which sucked. Unfortunately for Elon, the monetary aspects didn't work out so well. He's lost like half of his investment so far, uh, but he's implemented a lot of monetary changes. For example, an early implementation was him putting uh, check marks behind a paywall. Dude, I had my fucking verification mark for like eight months and then it got taken away and now I have to pay money to keep my, to, to look 
like not a bot account and actually have my shit get promoted. It's nonsense, dude. It's nonsense. Why would you make me equal to all these people around me, Elon? you that decision was absolutely a decision that was largely criticized and i get it because i have a verification badge but for like the normal person yeah fuck all these freaks with their check marks what do the what do they know you know the journalists especially who get check marks for not having um for just being affiliated with news and not having been um you know verified by independent fact checkers or whatever. <laughs> Shoo, my nose itches, dude. What is this going on right now? There must be a mustache hair going up in there. Yeah, a lot of people threaten to leave though. A lot of very famous people. My best friend, Stephen King. $20 a month to keep my blue check mark? That, they should pay me. If that gets instituted, I'm gone like Enron. Dude, he's still around by the way. Also, I love Stephen King. I don't mean to make fun of him. I have a uh, signed copy of It from 1984. 83? 1986, maybe. 1986. Maybe 1988. I don't know. I stole it from my mom. Dude, Stephen King's still around. It makes sense. He's addicted to shit. He said Fast Car is a classic like yesterday. And he's right. Tracy Chapman is insanely talented. Elon originally didn't seem to see Twitter as a social media app where people could just scream their thoughts into the void. He saw the potential for it to become something bigger than it was. Or at least that's kind of what he said and what a lot of other people thought as well. It hasn't exactly panned out that way, but he saw it as a place where content creators like myself could thrive. And he dreamed of incentivizing creators to flock to this wonderful new platform for everything called X. He even made a beautiful trailer using artists from Fiverr, I think. It was very good, dude. He wanted monetization for all forms of content, little tiny tweets, videos, etc. He also wanted to steal the OnlyFans model and allow people to subscribe and stuff. Content creators can now enable subscription through text, pics, and video. We're voting this platform. Dude, no, they can't. That was in 2022. Shit sucks. Now, this is where Mr. Beast comes in because it's a compelling thing to add true compensation to a platform. For example, YouTube is second to none when it comes to, uh, compensation for the people making content. Twitch sucks. YouTube, awesome. Kick sucks. Twitter, used to not have any at all. Now, it still sucks. Tumblr, non-existent. Facebook, I don't fucking have any idea. Snapchat, there's like a, a five people who make money on Snapchat. But Elon's idea was to implement ad revenue sharing similar to YouTube on X and make it viable for all, especially content creators like myself. Now, You've seen interactions between Mr. Beast and Elon on Twitter before, probably. They're a little chummy. They're kind of bros. Mr. Beast is kind of like the Elon Musk of YouTube in a weird sort of way. Not really, but kind of. Over time, the ad revenue sharing on X evolved, and Mr. Beast decided in January of 2024 to post an entire video to his Twitter page. Not to his YouTube channel, but to his Twitter page to see how much viewership and advertising revenue it would earn. He uploaded a video, $1 car versus $100 million car. And it's a Ferrari and a Bugatti. And one of them is not a dollar, and one of them is not $100 million. It's a 16 minute video. I don't know what the is going on in this video. Not gonna watch it, but it has 175 million views and 502,000 likes, 64,000 retweets or reposts or whatever. So he posted that shit up there, slapped it on the channel, did pretty damn good. That's better than YouTube. Those numbers are substantially better than YouTube. That is absolutely mind boggling and crazy. Now, Mr. Beast also put out a Twitter poll asking some various questions. Um, how much revenue do you think my post on here with 124 million views made? We'll share screenshots of revenue in three days. That's not how he talks, but that's just uh, my Elon impressions carrying over. One strange thing is this has way less interactions than the video. I don't know how that's possible. I don't know if there's some botting going on here. It seems pretty suspicious because this is like a perfect example for Elon Musk to prove that his X, his X formula is working perfectly. And he's over here botting and stuff like Neon on Kick and Aiden Ross on Kick and pretty much everyone who has viewers on Kick. I mean, 1.6 million votes. It's pretty easy to vote. Only 92,000 likes versus 502,000 and 175 million views. That's fucking insane. Well, I was obviously wrong to an extent because Mr. Beast posted a screenshot of how much money his video made and that shit is absolutely absurd and mind-boggling. I get paid $10 a month 
from X, bro. That's why I haven't been making any money because they spent all the money on you. you fuck. To be fair, I get way less views on X than he does, but I'm still jealous. I mean, it's just a re-upload of a video he posted on YouTube. That's absolutely mind-boggling. He does speculate and say that he thinks the attention that the video got, like, you know, it's Mr. Beast posting his first video on X. It's going to be a, a, a sort of a an event that is not going to be easy to replicate for anyone but Mr. Beast. So once in a lifetime thing, advertisers see that, they throw their money at it Super Bowl-esque style. So it probably skewed revenue, uh, probably for sure. If you break down the pay, it's about five cents per impression, uh, which is, I mean, if you got paid five cents per impression on YouTube, that is, I mean, mind boggling. So is this real? Is this legit? Is this just Elon trying to slob Mr. Beast and trying to get more people to think that this is a viable platform to try to like, you know, use his his master market manipulating skills that he's been using with Tesla for years to get more content creators on X and post and then maybe more advertisers will come. I don't know. It seems like it to me. I see, this is all just bullshit. I feel like there's no way that video got 175 million impressions. That is crazy. Then again, my channel gets a lot of impressions as well. Not views, but YouTube, you have to get a certain amount of uh, uh, length of a view of an impression for it to count as a view versus just an impression. Yeah, so I get about 250 million impressions a month and about 20 million views. So I def and I don't make that much. I don't make nearly 200 and sixty thousand dollars yeah i mean if i 175 million it's not it doesn't really add uh, I, I make way less than that that's it. cinnamon toast ken responded to this and he says that it's like shit pay versus other platforms even when the reach is boosted which i don't know about that dude i mean that if that shit pay then what the f i i am doing something wrong because if i got five cents per impression i'd be i wouldn't be making videos right now i'd have retired a long time ago and i don't get five cents per view either the legend matt wallace said your ad revenue is at a rate hundreds of times higher than mine yeah on on x absolutely i, I made like five bucks legit maybe 12 12 dollars something like that something <laughs> epic but matt makes very advertiser friendly content so <laughs> he doesn't make advertiser friendly content that's the it was supposed to be a joke. So you could see this as a massive win, a massive W for creators like myself to post on Twitter, seeing this as another opportunity to post somewhere where there's less censorship than compared to YouTube. Um, maybe it, it shows that Twitter is a possible viable income stream for genuine real content creators. Or you could see it as a massive failure because the largest YouTuber on the entire platform can do it uh, and nobody else, nobody else really can because nobody gives a f because it's it's Twitter and it's not YouTube and no one cares. Not everyone uses Twitter. You could see a, a, a failure kind of like Elon Musk's Diablo 4 stream. It's still actually, sh weirdly, I tried it. I, I just wanted to delete like so it doesn't have all the crap of the prior things. He tried to tease that as competing with Twitch and that is laughable. That is actually very, very, very hilarious and funny and cute kind of his mixing of the bit rates. Since Mr. Beast posted that first video, he's posted a few other videos. <laughs> this video called Train vs. Giant Pit. Wow, reminds me of my ex-wife. It had a lot of views, 121 million or impressions. I don't even know what the f that number means, but only 255,000 likes, didn't do nearly as well. He posted another one that only got 27 million views, which didn't do that well, but got 200,000 likes, which is pretty chill. You spent a million dollars on a hundred dogs? This is one of my favorite videos, so I hope you consider adopting a dog. A million? I need to watch the video because that sounds like a poor use of money. Holy shit. You give me a million bucks, I'll fucking, I'll rehome a damn state's worth of dogs. I'll create PETA too. And instead of killing animals, I'll actually rehome them. But I will be enriching myself from the charity, just so you know. <laughs> so depending on how you look at it, this could raise a few challenges and a few eyebrows for sure. Not everyone has the star power of Mr. Beast. Take me, for example. If I posted a video on Twitter, I feel like it would do very poorly and I'd get razzed and made fun of. This guy, Mr. Beast, has a large following and is incomparable to 99.99% of all other humans that walk the earth, let alone content creators. Mr. Beast also has the subscription model and full effect on his Twitter. Uh, you can subscribe to see business advice or something. I don't, I'm not going to subscribe because I mean, you know, uh, it's mostly I'm sure platitudes, things we already know. You just gotta be, you just gotta grind, man. You just gotta spend every waking day. Yeah, bro, I know, but I also wanna live, live my life. I also wanna live my life and enjoy myself and not um, do that.
One of the challenges that all this epic new context presents to people who want to make content and post it on X is that they pretty much have to post misinformation or insane shit or just repost videos that they don't own to make it on the platform, especially if they're not a cultural facet and centerpiece like Mr. B. To even make money, you have to have 5 million organic impressions in the last three months. That's a lot. Plus, you have to be subscribed to Twitter Blue or Premium, whatever it's called. 5 million impressions, though. That's a good bit. That's a lot. That's a solid amount of organic impressions. This whole situation and the Mr. Beastification is what I call it because I'm a scientist. This has led to a massive disturbing rise of engagement bait. There is a lot of terrible, terrible Twitter accounts that post terrible, terrible shit all the time. And then you go to the replies and the top 10 are just terrible, horrible shit. Every time you can't even see what people are saying unless it's a post that isn't popular. And when Mr. Beast showed that you can make a quarter of a million dollars in one video, it made it a lot worse. People are really just out there posting fucking nonsense. Check out this thing from a very active Twitter page called Non-Aesthetic Things. What's the correct answer? Eight divided by two or two plus two? Eight divided by two times two plus two in parentheses. Jake Chillenhall says, took three calc classes. It's 16, bro. I have two math degrees. It's one. Let's see what I think it is. 16. I don't fucking know. What is it? Four? No, it's one. Never mind. Wait. Yeah, it's one. It is one. No, it's 16. No, it's one. This is the type of post that does really well. Also, I did engagement bait just there. I was asking myself, pretending as if I did not know the answer, so you all would comment and leave a comment saying, Oh my God, it's one, you're an idiot. Uh, I'm also six foot four and I'm in middle school. This is great engagement bait. Epic post. It provides nothing for anyone. It's just like a shit post, really, but it's engagement baiting and it gets a lot of money and that's how you make money now on X. It shows two conflicting responses to a seemingly trivial math question and it begs the viewer to respond with the correct answer and argue in the comments because of PEMDAS. People learn that in school and they forget, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It worked. 11 million impressions, 6,000 replies of people fucking bitching and fighting each other. So if you click on this post, go down, you scroll past it, nothing's relevant. What is this guy? This guy's standing up for, standing up for a kid at the gym. What the f does this have to do with anything? And there's people replying to that. What the f does that have to do with anything? It's engagement bait. This shit has absolutely ruined Twitter. Here's another one. Strengthening the bond between siblings. What? They all look the same. They're all the same child. It's just impression farming. It sucks. It used to be a platform where I could see blood and gore and death and destruction. Now I see blood and gore and death and destruction. And also people are posting engagement bait. This guy here, Dr. Lomo, who posted the video, he's got 157,000 views. If you check out his channel, he posts absolutely nothing. I mean, he posts a lot. He just reposts shit. He's irrelevant. He has no following whatsoever. If you look him up though, he posts the same video under hundreds of other engagement bait posts. It's fucking unbelievable. It's just like an algorithm. They're they're people, they're not people, they're they're fucking uh uh what is that shit called? What's that thing called? I forgot what it's called. DARPA! That's what it is. It's a it's a DARPA experiment to try to make us lose all of our attention and turn into brain smooth brain uh idi idiots. How about this guy's wild content? Eating wings like this is kind of crazy. Well, how about the response? Good boy welcomes his human home after a six month deployment. Go back to eating the wings. I'm gonna hurt you. These are just examples you can find by scrolling the new Twitter for about five seconds. Truly the Mr. Beastification. I swear to God, that's what it is. And it's not his fault either. It's like the idea, the idea of making it into this thing that has no censorship, but also is trying to cater to creators. There's a lot of hoops you gotta jump through to prevent people from just exploiting a system that is so easy to exploit by replying to every single tweet you see with a video that you don't own. It's kind of fucking crazy. The most bonkers part is, is these shit posts get pushed in the algorithm. The replies to the shit posts get pushed in the algorithm. The OG account is an account that we don't follow. What's insane is that the engagement bait gets just pushed in the algorithm more so or as much as any other content, anything valuable news, whatever it is, it's equal there. If you scroll Twitter, it's just what you see is engagement bait. No context meme aesthetic page. No cap wild fights 
NakedCollegeGirls.com AI Gen Crypto Bro Scam Page. And I can guarantee you every single one of these posts is littered with replies from other engagement bait accounts. It's You have to just mute them or something. I don't do that. I don't mute or block people. But by God, this is get, it's getting very old. What do you guys think? Are you tired of it? Are you tired of it? Let's take a stand. Let's rise up. Let's start building guillotines outside of every state building, every capital, capital building, capital, every government building. Let's just build them. Not for any specific, not to use, obviously, but just to show people that we can build. Now we shall circle back to the topic of violence because there's a lot of pages that post fights. And that's one of my favorite things about Twitter used to be at least until they started locking them behind a paywall. And a lot of the videos that they lock behind a paywall, well, all the videos, are they don't own them. They're not actually the ones in the fight. It's the guy fucking Tyler Durden from from fucking Fight Club. I think that's Tyler Durden. Let me see. Nope, it's not. It's the other guy. Just kidding. More engagement bait. I didn't even look anything up. I texted my girlfriend back that I love her. Imagine the engagement bait and impression farms, but you're uploading videos of people who are in school fighting each other. I can't really, I can't really talk too much about that because this is an automatic, like kind of bad topic for YouTube. But uh, imagine putting videos behind a paywall of like toddlers fighting. That seems crazy. That seems like it might be illegal. And I don't even know what the fuck's going on, but there is a page that actually has like crazy, disgusting fights, harmful content. I will actually call it harmful, problematic content behind a paywall on on this website actively. One good thing about YouTube, this would never be allowed. One bad thing about YouTube, this would never be allowed. You know what I'm saying? It's tough. It's tough. It's a tough world. Or there's this epic video. Teacher with a fat booty throws down with a student while her cheeks are out on full display. Who's that for? Who's supposed to? Who wants to watch that? Epic fight content, man. There are even more pages dedicated to just fight content, and it's it's crazy. I don't know what's crazy. The pages, the fights, or how many people are fighting with just people standing around watching them. I have no idea. I had no idea people fought this much. There's got to be a downside to like normalizing this stuff on, on X and like desensitizing people to, to, to these types of videos. Cause I am absolutely 100% a proponent of the idea that video games do not cause violence or make people insane. I do not believe that that, that that is the case. I do not think that there is any reasonable evidence or logic in that but seeing people in real life doing things um for example uh bottle flip you know th that whole meme thing that's a real life video that's a trend that people can partake in this is a real life thing that can become a trend that people can partake in that absolutely could have a negative impact if it becomes normalized that's probably not good the fighting thing of course video games shut the up. And I'm not the only person worried about harmful content on X, by the way, guys. So many other caring journalists are worried about it as well. And it's all because of Twitter, Elon Musk's Twitter acquisition. I'm blaming this shit on Mr. Beast. <laughs> Just kidding. There has been a dramatic spike in hateful, violent, and inaccurate posts on the platform, though, according to researchers, of course. I just read a, a, an article, those are not my words. <laughs> It's true though, it is absolutely 100% true. And I'm not even a fucking researcher, I figured that shit out. In lieu of all this, advertisers also seem to be fleeing the platform, which makes perfect sense. We've seen this with YouTube before, with the adpocalypse. Coca-Cola doesn't want to advertise alongside this behind video. I don't blame them, dude. And quite frankly, it's amazing that there are any advertisers left at all on X because that shit is a cesspit. It is an absolute cesspit they loosened the rules which is pretty good they laid off the trust and safety team which is pretty good and they reinstated a lot of counts that were previously banned for policy violations that's also good but when you combine those things the holy trinity seems like it makes for a bad platform i do believe it will improve though i do absolutely believe that oh another thing adult model promotions i'm not against adult models promoting themselves but holy fucking shit i have never blocked or muted anyone until Elon Musk bought Twitter. It's just the worst engagement baiting I've ever seen. The worst impression farming I've ever seen. Holy shit. It's gross and weird and annoying and what the f Plus it doesn't make any sense when you combine the adult promotion with the just senseless engagement bait accounts. Like when they post a video that is clearly an advertisement but do not disclose that it is in fact an advertisement and then they get community noted. 
that's it's kind of satisfying to see that i kind of like it but by god it it's not it's not good man it's not i just don't like it in conclusion i'm a lawyer now and I'm also the judge, the jury, and the executioner, and uh, the mailman. Anyways, guys, it's an incredibly unpleasant time to be living in this world, especially on Twitter. So spend less time on Twitter. Wake up, read a book, go outside, go take a stroll with your loved ones, call your mom, call your dad, all right? Call your grandparents if they're still alive, if you're fortunate enough to still have living grandparents, like I am. I need to call my grandparents. Anyways, who do you think ruined it? Elon or Mr. Beast? I think both. Honestly, and people, people actually ruined it. Not either one of them, people ruined it. Yeah, people ruined it.